yeah, in order to get a grade for the MX Excel tutorial, we check some things. So one way that you can check it out yourself is just highlight from F7, in this example, from F7 down to I21, and then right click, clear contents. And then highlight these four cells from F, G, H, and I and double click in the lower right and if all these numbers auto populate with the, the same values you had before then we know that all the formulas were done correctly and finally the height of the riser block if I change this to some crazy number all of the theoretical distances should change as well then I know that I've properly re referenced this formula to these values next we'll check the plot displacement versus time see if there's an annotation the data points units are displayed properly and then finally the plot of displacement versus time squared with units of second squared here the two equations are listed and we check the slope we check the intercept to make sure that meters per second squared are the units time squared is listed second squared for units the y-intercept with unit and then similar for the theory, of course, without the y-intercept. That the, um, the legend has three things in it. And very specifically, this data series right here should not have a trend line. The trend line only belongs to the distance uh, data. Okay, Trend line does not belong on the theory, but on the data. So that's the trend line output. And then here it's translated into physics. So this is an example of an Excel spreadsheet that would get oh, one more thing to check. Did the student fill out these things at the bottom? And they did. So this would receive 100%.